Hey everyone, and welcome to Commander Clash. This week we're doing a special Commander Clash because Tom is going to be away for this week and the next week, and in his place, it's going to be the glorious return of Richard. Welcome back, Richard. Thank you for coming. Glad to be here. What's up, everybody? <laughs> So, uh, because we're, Richard is coming back, that means it's the return of the Ultra Jank themes for the week. And we're going to be starting it off with um, Movie Commander. So, each of us have built a deck around a movie that we liked. So, let's start it off with Jennifer. What movie did you pick? So, I picked The Wizard of Oz. It's a timeless classic. And there are lots of characters that everyone really knows that are very easy to personify with certain cards. So I I built this deck so that I've got, you know, I've got two different scarecrows and I've got two different cowardly lions and I've got, you know, I've just got every character from the movie. It's going to be really really cool. I'm not sure it's a very powerful deck or that it can really do much. But all the cards have stories, so it's important. Awesome. Yeah, that is definitely a classic that everybody's going to know. So it's going to be cool seeing those cards pop out like this, the characters and everything pop up. So really nice. All right, Seth, what are you running? All right. So when we decided to do movie week, I wasn't exactly sure what direction I wanted to go, but I ended up with the movie seven, which Apparently, I'm the only person that has seen. This is like a really <laughs> famous movie, but I mentioned it to all of you, and you're like, oh, what's that? I've never heard of that. But, it's on my short uh, list. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully some of the viewers have seen Seven. But Seven is about the, uh, the serial killer that's getting hunted down by Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, who are the cops, and the serial killer kills people uh, based on the seven deadly sins, which, if you're not familiar, are lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, and pride. So my deck is based around Corona the False God, which seemed like a good commander for a seven deadly sins deck, and pretty much all the cards in one way or another personify one of the seven deadly sins. All right, Seth, I have one question for you. Is this going to be a stacks deck? I feel like sins have to go towards... <laughs> no, no, no. The, 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 <laughs> the deck is actually not very powerful. The cards <laughs> reference the sins, but the deck itself is not going to be very good. It's pretty janky. All right, all right. That's good. <laughs> all right, Richard, welcome back again. And what movie did you pick? So I'm running Atog Atog, which if you look very carefully, are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have ninjas, we have turtles, we have mutants, <laughs> we have slime. I'm going to play probably the worst combo deck you've ever seen in your life, <laughs> where I will spend my entire game assembling a combo that does not win or progress the board state in any way whatsoever. <laughs> but it will be totally sweet. Uh, Ninja Turtles is like one of my favorite franchises. Uh, back in the 90s growing up, uh, I love this. Uh, not the reboot Ninja Turtles, not the Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles, <laughs> but you know the original Ninja Turtles. So we'll see what I remembered. And this deck's pretty sweet, so hopefully uh, I survive long enough to show off some of the pieces. I'm hoping against hope that there's some card in Magic that somehow references pizza. And if you found it, I will <laughs> give you the most props ever. I have bad news for you, Tover. <laughs> I searched really hard for that one. <laughs> there's no fantasy pizza? There might be pizza-looking thing in art, but there's definitely yeah. no nothing obvious that you can search up. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, and this is Tomer, and I'm playing a somewhat real deck in comparison to everybody else. Um, the deck, the movie that I chose is 300, and I chose it because it was pretty good that movie when I saw it way back in the day. But one of my one of the moments that stick out to me when I was in high school is the movie came out, and my favorite teacher from high school, he was our ancient he history teacher. He took us all out to see the movie, and then afterwards we all had dinner and he did like an impromptu um, history lesson on the Battle of Thermopylae and like the historical significance of all that. So it was a really cool event and to commemorate that I chose 300 
and the deck is is pretty functional. I, I chose a deck that is going to be functional and and do pretty well, but also I have a, a, a an excuse to run every single card that I am running. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Starting hands, Jennifer. How's your hand looking? So my hand is pretty solid. I've got you know some mana rocks, some mana, and Rubenia should be able to come out here not too late. So I like it. I'm going to keep it. Uh, yes. I have all really expensive stuff. Two lands, no ramp. So we're... Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, well, you can try it again. Uh, I got two lands and a bunch of bad cards, but I don't know that my deck can do better, so I'm just going to keep... <laughs> Par for the curse. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a land, one land that's colorless, so I'm just going to mull this. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go again. I have a one lander. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll try this. I have one land, but I have two signets. So if I can find one land, we get to play magic. Okay. This hand, two lands, keepable. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it. <laughs> oh, let's try to the bottom. Another signet. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Seaside Citadel. All three colors of mana. Oh, Go. that's a good start. Oh, yeah. I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Turn one command tower? To that's, not a, that's not a land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, next oh. turn. I also have a seaside citadel. Eh. Temple of Copy Triumph. Cat? Yeah, I'll keep this on top. So did Dorothy become a fairy legendary creature? She did. <laughs> yes, so Rubinia is... Uh, symbolizing Dorothy, because oh. she goes and she finds all these friends to bring along with her. Ooh. Forcefully yeah. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right. Oh, Let's... Scarecrow, you better come with me or else. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this order. Mm. Oh, dear. Because, what was it, the lion needed a heart? Yeah, no, the Tin Man needed a heart. Man so this is heart. the heart for the Tin Man. Oh. Every every card, every single one, it's great. <laughs> Actually, I will just do this. Mountain, nothing yet. How can you not have anything yet? Isn't your deck all like one and two drops it has a lot of, it has a pretty low curve but i just don't have any cards in my hand for that i think my first play is going to be annex all right so this one is just a mana rock unfortunately there are no signets in uh wizard of oz but next you see oh hold on let me tap my signet right the Emerald Medallion for the Emerald City. Oh, nice. Ooh. Hey, there's a land. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not not super far behind the curve, thankfully. There's no justification for Godama's reach. It's just <laughs> random. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not alone here. <laughs> we, 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 we need so some sad. utility spells you know, to do some work. Yeah, so the, the game is actually entertaining and flows. <laughs> you see, Kodama is reaching for pizza. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got it, it's it's a, a spooky reach. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza's just out of frame right there. Um, okay, so I don't have I don't have great justification for this too, but it's, <laughs> it's, it, again, it's for ramp. Um, and I chose I only chose Boros related ramp cards because the Boros are like a militant combat militant uh, guild. And are also in red and white, so I thought that was the closest analogy to Sparta that I could get to. Alright, so let's scry, and then we'll pull out Dorothy. Alright, Dorothy is here. Let our journey begin. Oh, but I want to cast creatures. <laughs> you may <laughs> cast creatures, that is allowed. <laughs> She's just going to steal them, though. She only gets the best creature that's on the field. 
I have a feeling uh, that that's going to be my creatures again. <laughs> so she takes anything, and then you may choose not to... This is annoying. She can <laughs> only take one thing at a time. Well, yes. we'll just give her bad targets. We will play <laughs> our first Ninja Turtle. There it is. Calcite Snapper. <laughs> I can swap his power and toughness. You know, it hasn't, it hasn't hit the ooze yet. It's just still a normal turtle running around the sewers. <laughs> It actually has shroud too, so it can't be stolen. Oh, I didn't even realize it had a keyword. Okay, yes, oh. <laughs> it has shroud. <laughs> exactly, all, all part of the plan right there. <laughs> According to the plan, <laughs> not even hexproof shroud. <laughs> um, I kind of, I don't want my stuff stolen though. <laughs> just, just don't play anything, Tomer. That's how I lose, though. Uh huh. All right, I guess. I guess this isn't very good for you. Here we go. A crowing conscriptor. So I picked half the reason why I picked uh, 300. The other half, other than my fun story, was because we already had an ancient Greece set, Theros block. So it was actually really easy to build this deck. The crowings in Theros block are just built based on um, the Spartans that we're in 300. So our Crow and Conscriptor is like Spartan Conscriptor. Really easy. <laughs> I mean, they got the armor, they're sitting in the pass of Thermopylae yeah. or whatever. <laughs> and he has a glowing red ball of energy, just like in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. All right, so I have a crabby apple tree. Ooh. Oh, it does look pretty crabby. Who's got the smallest stuff? Uh, me. It's so right. small you can't even see it. <laughs> I will clash with you. Uh, do I get? I get to scry, right? So you basically get to scry that card, yeah. Uh, it's, okay. it's not a not a land, so score. <laughs> it does not get a plus one plus one counter. Oh no! I tapped my mana wrong. Aw, uh, oh, bummer. Actually, I'm not sure I could have tapped it right. That's okay. We'll just play a Felwar Stone. Oh, everyone has so much mana. <laughs> Except <laughs> me. Alright. I'm going to draw a land this turn. I can feel it. I'm going to take that Conscriptor. Yeah, I figured. I mean, otherwise you're going to take Ravinia. And that's just not cool. Uh. Are you succumbing to one of the deadly sins of greed? <laughs> Muff in your hand. This is an okay uh, keep. I, I, I did. I did go to six in my defense. But I can. I can actually. This is actually pretty good. I think. I mean, it doesn't make mana, but it hopefully keeps me alive for a while. So I did not know this was a card. Out of all the deadly sins, one of the hardest ones was sloth. Ooh. But web of inertia is uh, one of the sloth cards I could find for the deck. And it's basically like a super good ghostly prison that's only three mana and in blue. Except it makes it so I literally just can't get attacked. Yeah, I guess it's not great late game, but early mid game, it's really brutal. And it's graveyard hate. Like, it's oh, kind of win-win. I don't play like a pithing needle, because someone needle the Rubinia. <laughs> I can't play <laughs> any of my awesome Ninja Turtles. This, <laughs> They're going to get deck, stolen. This deck doesn't have much in the way of uh, killing creatures either. Uh, okay, I can stop the power and toughness of uh, Leonardo over here, but I won't. Oh, but then you can swing in like a 4-1. <sighs> mm -hmm. Or I can sit here and block this army of... <laughs> Not so powerful creatures, but uh, I think I'll just play it. And if she takes it, she takes it. So uh, the villains apparently show up first. We got the Rat King. Oh, oh cool. Nice. Uh, hopefully you can fetch up Master Splinter. <laughs> but uh... <laughs> Search your library for a rat card? Wow, cool. Repeatable tutor effects. Yeah, of not. Are there rats in Wizard of Oz? Can you actually tutor up a rat? <laughs> Wait, what? So I have to exile a creature. If you don't, yeah, I don't care. Oh my god, is this going to trigger every single time? Yup. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Seth? 
<laughs> I first discovered this card. I was doing the Web of Inertia card. I was doing Pictionary with my chat, and I spin random on you know magiccards.info, and I got this one, and I'm like, no one is going to have any idea what this card is. I'm totally drawing it. It was hilarious. <laughs> Did anyone get it? Um, after the mana symbol and cost was drawn. Well, that's still pretty good. Mm. That's normally the like the last hint I give them after drawing the set. It was really uh, rough. <laughs> do you ever just like write the name in? <laughs> I do the name after it's been guessed, okay. or I give like once I'm completely done. If no one gets it in a minute or two, I'll go ahead and just tell them. But you could do like Wheel of Fortune and start like filling in letters. <laughs> I could do that. It's funny. <laughs> I'll just play next. I was going to say, I can't believe Tomer isn't killing us yet. Your deck looks so <laughs> scary and aggressive. Uh, it's, 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 it can't really deal with Verbenia, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> just just play enough creatures. Just play the better ones. Well, that, yeah, I really didn't think she'd be that good. I'm just playing Annex. Like, uh, I don't have any like Shroud or Hexproof or anything, so there's not much not much I can do here. Um, but yeah, I think that's that, that's all I got. Thanks, Webber. Yes. Metro. It's it's like I clearly have no cards in my graveyard. I don't know what it wants from me. <laughs> you may exile a card. Thanks. What is what is this art? It looks like it's from MS Paint. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like a 1990s like Super Nintendo game or something. <laughs> like, it was yeah, so it's weird. Like, it's like Marble Madness, sort of. It was also for Judgment Block. So at that point, they started having a little bit higher standards for their. Their artwork, too. Oh, so cool. I have a munchkin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Oh, I remember this card. Yeah, you crushed with it with uh, <laughs> the Kithkin Tribal. Oh, my oh, oh, no. And we have the hall in the Emerald City. Is and there's a... two five-color opponents, so it's a really beautiful Does thing. this just yeah. stop our deck altogether? <laughs> No, you can play one color, and also it doesn't affect your mana rocks. So, oh my god! So Seth, you're you're okay for now. <laughs> uh, I I was honestly wasn't going to cast anything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you! I'm mana screwed. I <laughs> can't change my lands colors. Uh... I thought the Wizard of Oz was like a family movie. This there's like some oppressive stuff going on over there. <laughs> we got all of gemstones. Yeah, I don't remember and, uh... a hall. Oh, yeah. But well, actually, there is. There's a there's that hall that you have to as you enter. I don't know if it's in the movie. It's probably just in the books. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I've never read the book, so. Wait, is this Wizard yeah, of Oz you, or is this Wicked? Go, it's Wizard of Oz. <laughs> but yeah, as you walk into the Emerald City, there's the hall that you have to go through where you get the emerald goggles, which is what makes everything emerald. Don't tell the kids. Um, <laughs> what? It's actually a white city. Really? But everyone's required to put on emerald goggles, and the outside edges are green. They're cheap. Wow! I never knew this about about the emerald. Yeah, city. you should. You should go. You can actually, since it's such an old book, you can get it. Um, like there's an audio book for it that's on like Project What you call it, where you can just get it and listen to it for free. And so I was listening to the entire Wizard of Oz series when I was out jogging a couple years ago. It was really awesome. Did you see what I? Can you see what I grabbed with Ratcatcher? Oh, uh, we should be able to. Reveal I grabbed the turtle, turtle shell changeling, wow. conveniently <laughs> a turtle and fetchable with a rat catcher. And he could switch his power and toughness. Ooh, is that like the ability of a turtle? I never really connected <laughs> that. That's yes. that's the turtle mechanic in magic. <laughs> well, yeah, because right now it's in its shell. And then it like snaps its, its neck out and bites you. And okay, <laughs> it has like a really powerful bite. Apparently, <laughs> it's so a snapping turtle. Yeesh. Have you ever been bit by a snapping turtle? Thankfully not. <laughs> no. Don't. But have you been bit by a snapping turtle? I have been bit by a snapping turtle. How did you? Were you like a little kid, or how did you I was manage that? A little that? kid, and I found okay. a turtle in the creek, <laughs> and it apparently had little pointy front bits. So it like pierced through that flesh between your thumb and your fingers. Ouch! Really 
Um, yeah, don't get bit by a snapping turtle. It's not fun. Four one seems appropriate for an attacking turtle. Yes. Uh, okay. So the Spartans are very obstinate. You know, they're stubborn. <laughs> and they, they're stubborn. They stand their ground. Hence the battle of Thermopylae, right? Because there's three hundred of them versus you know a giant army. It makes sense. But you I wanted do know some interaction that in my desk. the Spartans all died, right? So there's no way you're winning this game. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but then, then the Spartans eventually win as a kingdom. So there's that. Don't, don't destroy my web, Tomer. I don't want to. I just want destroy to the hollow it. gemstone. I swear destroy the yeah, hollow gemstone. Why do I care about the hollow gemstones? I won't attack you for five turns. Wow. <laughs> oh, the that's gemstone. a lot of turns. That is... I'll let you just hit me to kill the hollow gemstone. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, Tomer. I could actually let you draw cards if I play something. I've been not playing it because it, it doesn't help me at all, but that might even be better than me not attacking you with my zero creatures. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, do you want to prevent one damage for me? <laughs> you taking... Where are you getting damage from? Yeah, I'm so confused. I, I didn't tap correctly, so... <laughs> your pain oh, land? Oh, yeah. your pain land? <laughs> I'm so confused. I was really confused. Thanks. So I was like, why did this come up here? Like, what? Much appreciated. Um, <laughs> let me cast this. Oh, uh, you have a mana rock. That's why you don't care about Hall of Gemstone. Yeah. Maybe I should deal with the mana rock. also has the Cascading Cataracts. Hmm. Uh -oh. My rainbow. We're it's over the make, rainbow and everything. make it colorful. a little bit bigger. It a lot of oh, countless dear. battles because, you know, they fight in countless, countless battles because they're Spartans. That's what they do. That's their profession. <laughs> oh, That's their profession. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a 9-8. Is this for yeah. his turn? I don't want to exile my non-existent cards. Thank you. Yeesh. Ooh, just just throw that a crow and conscriptor in front of it. That was a plan. <laughs> I'm still going to oh, take man. a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Wait, she's going to take the annex inside me yeah. for other people. <laughs> that's fine. That... Whew. Yeah. Well, okay. Apply your damage replacement effects. Click on the shield to prevent damage to players. Click OK to automatically choose. Click on the shield? What? On the shield? Do you want to... Do you have to like click on where are you? I don't know. If a source would deal damage to a player, you may prevent <clears throat> X of that damage where X is the number of clerics you control. Currently, one. That's fine. There's some damage prevention shield somewhere you need to click. I think it's like your icon. Uh, nope, couldn't click me. Clicking the creature said apply prevention to Mrs. Mulligan. Yes. So I have to click my car my card. Oh. That's really silly. Well, it is Moto. Not gonna destroy it. Tomer. I'm not destroying uh, it. <laughs> just had to target oh my something. Goodness. I just had to target something. You had a Hall of Gemstones that would have been a perfectly legal target. The one that does nothing against me? And hurts the five <laughs> color players? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with this. All right. Um, you want to take my annex? Maybe. Thinking about it. But I had to pick a color first. I have nothing in my hand, so it makes it really hard. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh wait, the, what? Why did the why? The what happened? Fall off? Why did everything fall off? Uh, it <laughs> says creature you control. Oh, I did that wrong. But you mm -hmm. get an idol on out of it. In my web list. No, it's still enchanted. <laughs> oh, the Eidolon it's is still... enchanted creature. Yeah, it's still enchanting wrong. annex. It says creature you control. Oh, man. I didn't Wait. do that right. But shouldn't the annex be a lot bigger? Or is it the creatures that Oh, Tomer it's counting controls. Tomer's creatures, but it's on... I don't, okay. Yeah, I only uh, control one aura right now. I don't control a creature. So it's just a plus one, plus one. Weird. Uh, I didn't do that right. This is not what I would have expected to have happen. But okay. 
Well, now you can't kill my web, so I'm down with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Do you want to exile something? Uh, one of my non-existent items? Yep. Oh. Nah. Why do so when I can uh, stop the aggro player? <laughs> I mean, you just took my commander and you killed my other guy. Yep. Do you want to replace some damage? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yuck. I I did not do that right. Oh, this Hall of Gemstones. It's like the green blood moon. <laughs> it is, Seth. Can you deal with it? I don't think I can deal with it, literally, with any card in my deck. Everything must be green in the Emerald City. <sighs> you have two signets, though. You're pretty fine. Or, or yep. You should be. <laughs> Man, that it's only it's... affecting me. What's up with yeah. this? <laughs> uh, it's a. It is affecting me. I actually can't cast. I. Okay. Are you trying to cast? You I shouldn't. So many different colors. I shouldn't cast. I shouldn't cast this. Then don't. Uh, just don't do anything. All turn. Then I got to discard the hand size, and that's mm -hmm. not fun either. I'm going to cast it. You're welcome, everyone. Yay. Horn of Greed. The Horn of Greed, which is, of course, greed as far as the seven deadly sins are concerned. I like Plays this. a land. I don't like that. Should be enters a battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Get aggro with the snapper. Wait, what? why are all my lands red? Oh, Hall of no. Did you choose red on Hall of Gemstone? No, it, it's, it's, it's Seth. Seth chose red. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ha -ha. It affects oh. everyone? Yeah. Yep. I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all. I told you it's just literally like Blood Moon. Right down uh -huh. to the red mana. My god. Except it affects <laughs> basics, too. Yeah, pretty good, I guess. It re it's really good at saying your opponents can't counter your spells. Yeah. Or or like mess with you on on turns. Well, oh boy. <laughs> 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 One, two, three, four. Uh, we will concentrate. That's so, that's good. Uh, what's so... uh, what's the Ninja Turtle um? Justification for this? Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was giving me grief at the beginning with my deck. <laughs> Hold on, you'll see the beauty of this eventually if I can play multicolored spells. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we got we got our second turtle here. This was Donatello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> but ah, oh, we're still not in business. Hmm. One four for two is is pretty good. Well, I guess we might as well get on the aggro plan here. We're gonna mutate Donatello a bit. Ah, uh, okay, okay, that's a flavor uh, win right there. He's now a mutant turtle. He's a mutant turtle. <laughs> uh, but you cast it. Before you can attack, so you immediately get the negative one, negative one counter. Yeah, it's for flavor reasons, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I need to discard... I guess I'll just discard Necrotic Ooze. Right, we're picking white. I had it. I was trying to set up a play, and I wasn't... I was okay with the Conscriptor dying, but I did not want to lose my or Mortal Obstinacy for no reason. But anywho, um, this is what five. All right, let's Temple of Triumph first. Oh, oh, I can't even stack it anyway. So, because you control that effect, let us scry to the bottom. And so, um, 
The first thing that King Leonidas did before he went to battle is he consulted the Oracle of Delphi. <laughs> and so I'm playing Winds of Wrath, where in the flavor text, it's the Oracle <laughs> talking about a, uh, a I thought you were playing Oracle, Tober. Why are you laughing? <laughs> the Oracle in Vec. But am I a genius or what for uh, <laughs> transforming? <laughs> Donatello into a Oh my goodness, it lives. <laughs> <laughs> and that gets you Annex and Simi back. Very Wait, why nice. Why is Annex still alive? Oh, because it's enchanted it's with enchanted. the Eidolon. They're enchanted, yeah. yeah. But Rubinia was gone, so Annex right, returned. Come at me, Tober. I got a 4 7 turtle ready. I have, uh, <laughs> I have summoning sickness. I'm just going to pass. <laughs> Actually, I should probably keep this. Yeah. Um, oh. Just, you know, what for you... the threat. So, so, you want to exile a card? No. No one ever oh. expects a mana tithe. Remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pick white. Actually, it, you can't stop it, too. Oh. Okay, green for the Emerald City. Hmm. It's so funny because it actually kind of ruins your Felware Stone. <laughs> That's true. It does oh, yeah. kind of do that. Because they can only produce now green for the moment. Oh, well, you can, oh, wait. You can never cast your commander again. Maybe this is a good thing. I oh, yeah. can indeed cast my commander. Why? She, what? Where's your wait, how, where does she get blue, man? Oh, I guess she chooses blue. If she chooses blue, she can. Yeah. Uh, huh? How are there so many colors of mana? <laughs> oh, you cascading cataracts cataract. for Over the Rainbow. Oh. Wait, uh, so all the colors are back. I like oh. that. Instead of being mono green. That's, that's, that's neat. Wait, I, I should play that card. That part's pretty good. <laughs> oh no. Is this the commander? Uh, it is. So what are these back? Well, I liked having an X and Siamid for a bit. <laughs> That was nice. <laughs> Are there like red is, shoes? My like, Felwar Stone is offering to let me tap for any color. Uh, swift foot boots or or shoes, kinda. Wait, if you tap it, it might change colors. No, oh no, it no, works. It, let me tap what? Red. That's crazy. Moto fail. Maybe it's <laughs> yeah, it because of the, the vivid moto. growth, because you can remove a charge <gasps> counter. It must be. Maybe. I mean, yeah. it still doesn't. Yeah, you're make right. You're sense. right. You're right. It still doesn't make sense for Hall of Gemstone just how it's worded, but I don't, I don't know. lands tapped. I don't know. Can you tap your Vivid Grove for other colors of mana? I mean, it taps. I don't know. It's like, tapped right now. <laughs> I can't tell. Like it's it's tap colon add green or tap colon remove a cha charge counter, add any color. I don't know. I don't. I think that's a motive fail. I think it's a comma, not a colon, though. No, but there is I don't a know colon if that at changes. the end. There's tap That's true. remove a charge counter add. Yeah, I guess after Vivid Grove there is. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe Come on, land. One time. Huh? All right. Well, it's a tap land. Yeah. But it is a land, a and I gain a life. I still can't cast anything. <laughs> But that's okay. Baby steps. Uh, I guess we will do some discarding. Uh, we're going to discard this because I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> what is it? Well, now I'm going to find it. Siege <laughs> worm. What seven sin is this? Oh, man. <laughs> it's it's not a good one. Is it lunch? <laughs> I was hoping I just wouldn't draw it. Oh, man. Yeah, you can take MTG Salvation and... <laughs> Lust is not an easy one. You can't just type Lust into Magic Online and come up with cards. So I had to do a lot of research for Lust, and <laughs> Siege Worm was one of the most recommended cards. <laughs> All right. You also have our, the Armada Worm. This one that comes uh, <laughs> it makes a token of itself when it enters the battlefield. Uh, no, I, oh, I, I, tried to avoid, <laughs> I tried to avoid that meme as much as possible, but Siege Worm did slip in. <laughs> nice. 
All right, wait. This only affects Seth, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. You can. I actually, I actually need my graveyard, so I'm not gonna hit Seth. All right, all right. Here we go. I'm attacking with a mutant turtle, right? Uh huh. <laughs> yep. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh no! Oh, now this is a three-three. <laughs> it shrank. Wait, why did it shrink? Because it's a oh, yeah. tap. All right, but it's not just. A mutant turtle. It's a... It is a... Hey, I could actually use Vivid Girl for different colors. Good to know. You're not going to slip a ninja in here. A ninja oh, my too. goodness. <laughs> it happened. Oh, oh, my oh goodness. it's a mutant ninja turtle. <laughs> we did it. That's the game, folks. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> so the flavor win has been achieved. Oh, no. Flavor achievement unlocked. Oh. Okay, I can search for... I guess I can search for another ninja. Now you just have to find, like, a really young ninja or a really young turtle. <laughs> Teenage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I guess we just go with turtle changeling. I mean, technically it's a shapeshifter, so it is like a mutant ninja turtle right now, but mm. that doesn't count. <laughs> uh... All right, we'll discard Pattern Reaper. We don't need that. It does have a fancy snapping turtle-looking thing in it, though. Uh... Guess I'll go for white. Uh, I don't know what to do about Ravinia. I can't kill her, and she's taking my stuff. Stop playing good stuff. I can't help it. <laughs> 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 well, it is a uh, it is a Richard week, so I am playing a card that is the most <laughs> Richard card possible. Oh, I didn't get a I didn't oh I did draw a card. Okay, good, cool. Um, just tap. No oh boy. Like so. Are right, you getting double strike and life link? <laughs> a little bit of that. A little bit. Boom. Uh -huh. It's back. <laughs> Actually, let me let me make it a little bit bigger. Actually, all right. So true conviction. Obviously, they have to have true conviction if they're <laughs> if they're holding holding the bridge or whatever it was. Um, and then okay, this is probably the biggest stretch in the entire deck. <laughs> so the Persians, we go into the, we see the camp. The Persians are like comically evil villains in in the movie, and they're super hedonistic for some reason, and they're having piercings everywhere. Even piercings on their skull, like clamps oh, of some no, sort. Just... <laughs> stay with me. Stay with me. Uh, I don't want to stay with you anymore. It's, oh my goodness! What if I said it was spooky? Uh, oh, now it makes sense. All right, <laughs> spooky skull clamp. Um, attacking Jennifer. That's a lot of damage. Well, you're That's a lot of stealing my damage. stuff. I mean, yeah, that's the point. I don't like it. I'm at 18 commander damage. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> For the record. If you stop stealing my stuff, I won't attack you. Oh, now she has to steal your stuff. To yeah, that's high. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Hello. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. And then my stuff right, is, this is just still like equipped? randomly on my... Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Coolio. All right. So, um, the art on this is a bit disappointing, but the flavor of this is what actually makes it good. So, here I have Trophy Mage, also known as Oz. Cool. So... Oz gives these gifts to our our heroes. Ooh. You know, so, you know, the heart for Tin Man or a brain for Scarecrow or a courage for the lion. So, should we get courage or brains? Actually, can I not get my brains? Where are my brains? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> scared. Uh, gets I cannot get my brains. <laughs> Why not? It's an artifact card that costs three less than three. 
I think it's exactly three. Exactly three. Exactly three. Yeah. Oh, well, then I will get a baton of courage. Yay. <laughs> What does this do? What does it do? Is this Sunburst artifact? S- sunburst, remove a charge counter from Baton of Courage. Target creature gets plus one plus one. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I can't tap anything, right? Hold up. So, Slesnia Signet tapped with Colorless Mana. And then Felwar Stone giving me something else. Why do I have to pay two? I don't understand. What, oh, never mind. I get it. Sorry. So I do red, and then I pay a ton of courage for white, red, green. There it is. So the line's courage. <laughs> nice. It's so weird that that wasn't an equipment because everything was equipment during original mirrored in black mm-hmm. except the baton of courage because it, it looks like an equipment it's like a weapon that you hold right i don't know okay <laughs> want to exile a card eh. <laughs> such an effective pillow foot card <laughs> no attacks yet, at least. Yeah, it's, it's true. You have not sort been of working. I think we actually get to start playing stuff. Oh, I, I never get to hit F8 again because I can remove charge counters. Oh, <laughs> yes. At instant speed. All right. I'm pretty proud of this one. So this is a, another sloth card. It's a... Uh, it's the loafing giant. <laughs> no, nice. <Life>. So <laughs> it's oh, it's you. so bad. <laughs> wow, it's it's Ooh. a four six for five with a downside. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, you pretty can't, rough. I just make that a vanilla. It'd be too good. <laughs> but it looks pretty slothful. I don't get the yeah. impression that that giant moves around very quickly. Well, he is loafing. All right, we're going to cultivate, because I need to draw more into my combo. <laughs> so these lands will actually help. Uh, we'll take these. Ooh, all right. So I can actually use my Vivid Grove, but it doesn't really help. So I will play Manriki Gusari. Ooh. And it is the closest thing to a nunchuck that I could find in the world of Magic Battery. <laughs> it's also, it looks like a, a rat folk person's wielding it, so that could be like the teacher guy. Yeah, but uh, he's gonna be very helpful here as your skull clamp goes bye bye. Uh... <laughs> but that skull clamp was helping me. Well, I don't know who no, that helps, an but it's going. <laughs> it's going away. And. Oh, how can I get out of this hall of gemstones? <laughs> uh, we could kill it. How? You don't have any enchantment <laughs> removal? <laughs> do the turtles remove enchantments? <laughs> or do they just eat pizza and party all day, man? <laughs> oh, fair. Choose white again. Uh, uh, that that kind of works. Okay. Um. So, the king of Sparta, who led his people into battle, his name was King Leonidas. Oh, Emphasis boy. on the Leo part. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, as in cat or lion, and and Leonin being cat people. So, King Leonidas <laughs> is chosen, a.k.a. Johnny is chosen, cat people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a stretch you have there. Uh. And then I will equip them. So, Leonidas, as I said, went to the Oracle. 
the and the in the movie at least the F wars are like these um, hermetic sages that control the oracle. So sages reverie because they have all the knowledge. What does this do? Whenever it's card draw in white. Oh, okay. It's marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> I need my card draw. <laughs> Man, everything's so scary because you have a true conviction. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and I make a, a cat. Yeah! Meow meow. Um, do I want to make a thingy on it? Uh, you know what? Yes. Yes, I think I do want to put it on this. Well. All right. And then I'm done. I can't tell what's going on. Moto is like stacked all four cards like on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> on top of each other on my screen. Yeah, it's been getting worse since you stopped. We've had some some cases where you literally can't see your creatures to attack with them because they're piled under other stuff that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Moto's falling apart. And if you yep. whenever you try to enchant something that's not on your board, it just freaks out. <laughs> so the Adalon, despite being on my side, is actually targeting Annex and, and Symed. Oh wow, it's a seven six. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the Adalon is growing because I own those auras, right, and creatures. So I'm actually growing the Annex. Uh, so we have another crabby apple tree. Which is very flavorful because it's trying to grab all the people and eat, or all the characters and eat them. Mm. And then we have, if I can tap my signet properly. It does a yes. twister. Oh, Ooh. nice. Oh, that's so helpful. <laughs> Dorothy gets into this mess by being hit by a tornado. So I have a tornado <laughs> in my deck. That is, that is flavorful. All right, so let's. Hmm. I will not attack you. <laughs> Pillow Fort is working. I feel like that you get a lot of laziness value that no one wants to like look <laughs> through their graveyard and exile a card because you all have lots of cards in your graveyard now. Hmm. I, I have three. Um, that's well, not yeah, a lot. I guess that's not really lots. What are the can, odds can that Annex kill... and Saimi kill everyone? Like <laughs> between and... over a gen, it just it just kills everyone. <laughs> I'll I'll take it. <laughs> I'd it love to see speedy. someone die to their own commander damage. I was just gonna say that that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> it could happen. I mean, it's already a seven six. I'm, gr I am growing it. <laughs> Wait, what happened to my? What happened to the aura that's enchanting Annex? It just disappeared from my my side of the battlefield. Uh, yeah, it's still there somewhere though, because it's still seven yeah, six. Yeah, it's still, it's still affecting. <laughs> it's probably it's... directly behind a Johnny or something. Oh my goodness! Moda. This is great. Maybe if I wiggle, nope. Well, we'll play a land, draw a card. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I can't cast that. Can I? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so for some reason, I have a very sloth-heavy draw. <laughs> so we're going to play... Not that that's a real thing, but... We're going to play another sloth card. In Sire of Stagnation. Oh. So, like, stagnant, not moving, slothful. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's and, basically Consecrated Sphinx. Fair, a yeah. fair consecrated sphinx. And yeah, we'll stay back on defense. I'm the only aggro player again. Ah, <sighs> this hollow gemstone. <laughs> <laughs> the five color deck doesn't like it for some reason. That's odd. I was really worried about playing it because I was like, "What if they're all?" like monocolor decks and I'm sitting here a three color playing Hull of Gemstones mm -hmm. and then we sat down and I'm like ooh two five color decks not so scary after all and ooh. I had it in my opening hand it was beautiful yeah it's been pretty pretty good let's see this is pretty good 
So, I have uh, the most fair card in Magic, Umi Zawa's Jite, or Raphael's Half Sigh. <laughs> <laughs> it was broken in combat. What can we do? What can we do? <laughs> Ooh. And, uh. Time to get some Jite counters, I guess. You want to exile Not something? It. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Wow, it's so good. Yeah. You have cards so exile. Good. I need them. You'll see. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, Tover. You're the only one because your commander is like holding down the floor on the other side. <laughs> mm. Well, let me just do this then. No, oh, no. Are you killing it? The 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 Spartans were known for their advanced <laughs> military tactics. Coordinate itself. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's like puns, it. but taken too far. <laughs> and I like puns. What? This is totally on flavor. You can even see Spartans there. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> That's like Wait, the most. I could have used its own ability on itself. I thought it was another creature I could give unblockable. There's a pun. <laughs> it actually has an ability. Oh, target ninja! I didn't even read that part. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a, I thought it was target other ninja. Womp. <laughs> well, oh no, I grew the lumber knot as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Donatello's back. All right, welcome back. Uh, let's see. Do this. And uh, I guess we'll just play our other ninja as well. We don't need to ninjutsu anymore. Ninjas. No land drop, really? Uh, Sorry, Seth. Uh, if you kill that hall of gemstones, I might play some lands. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, I guess that works out because I have the horn of green too, so it makes people want to play lands. I think it's a combo, sort of. I uh, agree. Where's your swords to plowshares? Because Spartans went back to farming after. <laughs> 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 you know what? I had I had one, and then I was like, "Nah, this is too far." <laughs> I kept the, I kept the skull clamp though. <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, I could just tap out and play yeah. land. Permanents have... Actually, I don't think I want that to happen. Um, let's see. Just get back this. Ooh, I can get back this. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. So, step one. I'm going to play an Aura Mancer. I didn't hit a land drop. Let me grab back that card. Seemed pretty good. <laughs> oh, boy. Yoink. And let me also. So the Spartans were pretty religious too, and we have an Evangel of Heliod, other otherwise known as, well, I guess Apollo in this case. Probably. And you can see all the Spartans kneeling in the artwork too, listening to the person preach. And then I get some more Spartan soldiers. Yay! <laughs> I'm not going to exile anything. <laughs> yeah, it's still working. <laughs> and I guess no attacks. Yeah, no, nothing looks profitable. Oh, and the annex is 1716. <laughs> yeah, if only I had could give a trample in some way, you would be dead now. And then I wouldn't have any more, so maybe I don't want to do that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you want me around, Jennifer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You've done a lot of damage to me. Wait, you keep stealing my stuff. I, I, I propose a truce. You just stop stealing my stuff. And then I, I have not stolen any of your stuff for several turns. You have my commander. <laughs> but I didn't actively <laughs> steal it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes! Oh, no. Fail you! Consecrated Sphinx. Consecrated Sphinx does its thing. Wait, Seth, so you need to explain to me what what is the plot of the movie? What what 
You can't spoil it though. I actually yeah, want don't, to watch don't spoil it. it. Just explain enough so I understand the point of the movie. Uh, basically, there's a serial killer, and he's killing people, and he kills people based on the seven deadly sins, so he kills someone in each way, and Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt are the the detectives. Brad Pitt's like the, the young gun detective, and Morgan Freeman's a wise old detective, and then it has a sweet twist at the end that I won't give away. What the... <laughs> oh no Whoa. do you have trample cause that would kill me huh let me think about this better stack up everything in front of that <laughs> can you trade 12 13 14 15 oh you can trade if she has nothing oh no there's a baton, baton of courage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't trigger. It doesn't trigger the heroic. Oh, so. it doesn't. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, That's... it's a spell. So I have to just make sure I don't take. Mm. Say it. First. So it could be twenty. Let's say twenty-one. Oh my goodness. That's like my entire army. <laughs> Which you got off of one card, so it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, but I worked for it. A little bit. Huh. Hmm. How greedy do I want to be? Next turn, I can do this. Uh, oh, but then I can also just do this if I go along. All right. Um, yeah. Let's just throw everything. Two. So six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that lumber nine. Eleven. So that way I'm not dead. That's eighteen. Oh, it's not even non-token creature. Lumber knots getting huge. Yeah, it's gonna be super <laughs> big. Four, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You have thirteen power blocking. Yeah. Annex. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I thirteen. Only... Eleven power and thirteen toughness. Yeah. So you could pump it to like twenty-one. So Wait, four, does it even does it even have trample? Or you're just trying to play around the possibility? I'm of playing that? around the possibility because if if she has trample, then I just die because that would be a lot of a lot of damage. <laughs> hmm. That's true. What are are I... you going to kill it? Are you blocking know, it away where it dies? It. I can't kill it. Oh, that's 16, brutal. 16 power. So all this is in case the Wizard of Oz deck has like a giant growth or something. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I guess I could just do it like... Maybe I just do it like this. I actually kind of want these two things to die. All right. Yeah. We're running it like this. Hopefully Wait, I'm not why does he? Why does he want things to die? No What's, reason. Does he have a living end in this? <laughs> <laughs> what is a going on? A flavor win living end? <laughs> Activate heroic and I'm dead? No. Hey. Oh my god, this number not. Unfortunately, <laughs> no trample. Wait, did At I least have, not oh, now. that first strike? Ah, oh, boo, yep. I did that wrong. Tomer field number one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it did I shrink, lost, though. I, I lost two extra soldiers to grow it a little bit bigger. So there's that.
Why is it a 3-3? Three, three? What? what? I pumped it with a baton of courage so it wouldn't no. die. I have to keep Oz alive. <laughs> no! It's over field number two and three! <laughs> oh, man. I totally forgot about the baton. You got me. <laughs> Well, at least we killed these guys. All right, so that was not the worst turn in the world. Cleared a little bit of his board. I was hoping he'd throw everything in front of it because he would forget about the first strike, and I'd just wipe his board and keep everything. That would be great. Oh, they also plan. shrunk Annex, too. It's not bad. Only 11 power now. Hmm. Yeah, all right. <laughs> How are you functioning as like a mono white deck all this time? <laughs> this is, he has um, two signets. I actually think this is helping me at the moment because I'd like to cast another deadly sin. This time, oh no, do I not have enough mana? Oh. All right, I guess we got to play this land. Oh no, you have to draw cards. I know, it's a shame. We have Akroma, the Angel of Wrath, or, yeah, I guess Wrath is actually the sin. But. <laughs> <laughs> Are you got messed it. up for you guys? Yeah, why is it like, <laughs> is it like reverse colored or something? Yeah. Uh, Moto does weird things with foils sometimes, uh, so it's like, it's like stuck in a foil transition that's just like, not. It's like a negative of a photo almost. Yeah, but. yeah. Uh, who do we attack? Uh, Jen has the Hall of Gemstones. But also has a 11-10 First Striker. That's true. But it, it doesn't fly. And the Chroma has protection from red. Sure. Uh, I'm going to hit Richard. He has most life. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, fine, fine. I wouldn't buy two life. Hurrah! <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think we'd ever be able to cast Mad Rush Cyclops. Probably never going to cast Dragon Broodmother either. Aww. Oh no! <laughs> I drew a three-color card. <laughs> Do you have mana rocks or no? Uh, I think I have a command sphere. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. try to dig for it right now. Chase's ingenuity. None of them. Oh wait, wait—is that horn of greed still out? It is. Okay. Uh. We'll yes. Play this. Whatever. The we discard the hand size. <laughs> I yeah, I can't really cast half it. my stuff either. Oh boy. So there's a huge lumber knot. Can I hit anyone with anything? Not really. Oh wait, I can't tell this vivid grove will actually do something. <laughs> <laughs> Because when you click Command Tower, it lets you choose all the mana symbols anyway. Oh my goodness, that's not... Is that a moto bug? That's not what it's supposed to be doing. No, it lets you choose, but it converts it all to the one you choose afterwards. Oh, right, yeah. So it is working correctly. Um, how can I do something useful on this board state? Do you want to wipe it? With my turtle wrath? <laughs> like, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> it uh, might be I a guess turtle just... incidentally in an artwork that has a board wipe. I don't know. I'll just put the GTA here. Solid. Uh, okay, we pass. Uh, we'll discard Demir Aqueduct. Hmm. Okay, let's draw a card. Yes. Eh. I'm so greedy. much value. I know. It's so enticing, though. What are you exiling? I hope it's nothing decent. I mean, it could have been on the bottom anyway. So yeah, but... if it's exiled or not, it's just shuffle skills. But it just feels bad. 
<laughs> if it's something like I wanna. Oh, uh, here comes the double. Alright, so King Leonidas going to the Oracle of Delphi, pleading for guidance from the gods, specifically Apollo, for prophecy. Oh boy. And he's uh, he's gonna look around, see if there's anything that's like <laughs> an enchantment that wipes the board. Nope. Uh, oh. Thank. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That too. Is this temporary? Oh, this is nice too. Huh. Interesting. Let's go with this. And I can't cast either of these right now. Hmm. Still think this is correct. Yeah. Boom. Can't cast anything. Could just cast this. Okay. Let's cast this. One, two, three. The Mystics return. The F4. Ooh. And then I'm done. What's, what, what's totem armor? <laughs> Um, uh, if an enchant if, yeah. If the creature gets destroyed instead of the enchantment gets destroyed and the creature sort of regenerates. Oh god. I only have one such one such card, by the way. It's on a cat token. Seth, it looks like he's playing boggles over there. Didn't you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the chroma might be going after Tomer. Really? It's not gonna put a dent in him. He still has the Double strike lifelink. There's also the yeah, Rubinio with my commander oh, as a 1211 and an 8 8 have... hexproof. He doesn't have double strike like It's, it's, it's in his hand. Oh. Yes, everyone's playing the lands. Well, see, you're going to discard all your cards anyway, so I'm going to get a bonus card, and then you just get to filter a little bit deeper into your deck. That's helping us both. That That's true. I'm okay with it, though. I could draw a Reliquary Tower, which I don't have in my deck. <laughs> so I guess you get. <laughs> in in another world, if I had built my deck differently. Uh-oh. Uh so, uh... the Aegeus Angel is the good witch of the North who gives her blessing to Dorothy as she starts her journey. Uh -oh. It's a little bit more of a stretch. Pretty good stretch. Now we can't kill Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still number one target, really. That wall of inertia is actually, or the web of inertia is actually really good. I mean, I actually would just start throwing away my. S really? All right. Yeah. Well, you got chump blockers. Assuming, well, got chump blockers. I'm just dead as soon as she has this trample effect. But, yeah. I don't have enough, really, blockers to stop that right now. Wait, do you get more cat tokens from your Johnny's Chosen? Yeah, I will. Once I play enchantments. Didn't you play the plea of whatever? Oh, that was an enchantment? That was a spell? No, nah, that was just a sorcery. Oh, that's a sorcery. Hmm, look, my lumber knot is growing. Bam, bam. It's a great tree. <sighs> this hail of gemstones is so <laughs> annoying. Welcome to the Emerald City. <laughs> All right, we're going to choose. Let's see, one, two... I guess we go green. Which means we get to see our first gluttonous card in the Gitrog Monster. Oh, nice. Ooh. So we get extra land drop. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm almost drawing too many cards. As weird as that sounds, <laughs> we can mill you out. Thing. You take that back. <laughs> <laughs> I hope someone like scape shifts and then he just decks you. <laughs> What's the mad rush cyclops? Uh it's it's mad or wrathful. Oh or angry. okay, yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, I guess we go at Tomer, highest life total. We'll keep the sure. tradition alive. I'm gonna start paying for that web. <laughs> and attacking into You just pay once or one for each creature? You just pay once. Oh pay once. It's not that crazy. <laughs> it's worked well so far. If you don't plan on recurring that card, I mean, I'm not gonna do much. Oh my goodness! Wait, oh man, you, do I? What? Oh, you discarded. <laughs> You're gonna discard, and then draw, and then discard, and then draw. <laughs> I'm gonna cycle through your entire deck and win right here. <laughs> Let's see. It. I don't know if there's any winning from this. Please. Uh, I don't know what else to discard. I guess Covetous Dragon. Nice. Mm. Uh, Gluttonous Cyclops. <laughs> and that card, Consecrated Sphinx. No justification, it was just to draw cards. <laughs> Ooh, it's the Invocation one. I haven't seen the invocations online yet. They're nice because you can actually read them. Yeah, they do actually look pretty good right. online. Mm hmm. Like, like the border text. isn't as strange. Yeah. Oh, man. So we got to keep doing this if I keep discarding lands. Stop <laughs> discarding lands. <laughs> just... No, this is how you build the perfect hand sculpt it. Uh. Alright, I guess we'll just keep discarding random card draw. <laughs> then drawing more cards. So discard, yay. Okay, I think we're done discarding lands. Yeah. There we go. Uh, it's hollow gemstones. <laughs> <laughs> Still ruining my life. <laughs> uh, oh, interesting. Can I just deck Seth? How many, how many more land drops do we need to deck? Uh, I'm still at 60. Oh, and right. and you get too exiled whenever you do it, too. Oh, yeah, okay. Can't really do anything. Ooh. Another uh, we got another ninja. We can't really... Attack anyone to ninjutsu this thing in, but we'll just sit there and block. <laughs> um, what's the scariest creature right now? Mm, can it kill indestructible things or no? <laughs> nope. Oh. Uh, cat token? It really kill anything. A Johnny's chosen? <laughs> I don't know. Johnny's Chosen or Aegis Angel? A chroma is pretty. If you could kill the angel, I mean, I got it's got pro black. It's a black card. Oh, <laughs> so it's not... Angel's probably good because then it actually allows for a sweeper in the future. Uh... And wrath is one of the seven deadly sins. Why are you gonna wrath? Your board is so full. Well, if the situation calls for it. I'm pretty oh, happy wait. just drawing cards. I can kill, yeah. I can kill your sire, actually, because your sire is the void. Oh, it's hey. oh. <laughs> Okay, we'll stop these shenanigans. <laughs> Even though you've drawn, like, 50 cards off of it. Yeah, that's fair. And... Actually, let me... Actually, I need my regeneration mana, so no. <laughs> Tomer, let's see the Spartan Wrath. <laughs> I think you want a Wrath. I have two Wraths in the deck. I just do not have them in hand. Still not. Um, maybe I draw into one? No. <laughs> All right. Uh... You know, White Sun Zenith. <laughs> Make cat tokens. 
I'm gonna... So, King Leonidas is a king. Emphasis on king. So he had a throne. But he had to leave it to go to battle against the Persians. And he never returned. So... His Spoiler throne... alert. <laughs> yeah, oops. Oh, <laughs> his throne oh, remains oh, empty. Dear. Oh, Seth, cast. you must you must have something to deal with all these enchantments. Well, luckily, I have Mist of Stake or Web of Inertia to uh, protect me. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah, your convictions back! Yay! Oh no! Yay! Yeah, I, I double strikers. We might need to try to kill Tomer. Yay! <laughs> I've been doing that. Yeah, hey, Jennifer's been on. Y'all can join me. <laughs> These one four turtles aren't very effective. Can I point out the indestructible <laughs> Rubinia and the eleven eleven hexproof and just just don't wanna die? Uh, but now you got a double strike. Yeah, the double strike one ones. And, and four just fours. to prove a point, I'm going to exile a card to show you that it's possible <laughs> to attack him. You're, you're not gonna attack. Exile. I'm not going to attack as you have 6-6 six, six death touch and flying and whatnot. Then you didn't but, show any. But I'm just, I'm just showcasing that, yes, you can actually exile a card to web inertia, and then you can attack him. Observe. All right. Attacking <laughs> Seth with a 1-1. One, one. See? It's, it's possible. It should have hurt me. I, it didn't attack, though. I don't think it's possible. Uh, <laughs> all right. You want that? Is that what you want? <laughs> I, I won't block. I promise. All right. I'm attacking you for 1-1. One, one. Oh, I was joking. <laughs> oh, you were joking about your promises. All right. I'll just, I'll just write that down. Seth's promises are a joke. I'm just going to write Okay, that. I'll take two. I'll take two. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, how are you at 42? How would you gain two life? Oh, uh, all these game lands. Lands. game lands, yeah. Yeah, he has two game lands and... Nobody is attacked because of the weapon of inertia, <laughs> despite like zero graveyard recursion happening too. Yeah, you all have pretty well. Jennifer still doesn't, but the rest of you have plenty of cards in your graveyard. You could if you wanted to. Yeah, as Tomer just proved. Haha! <laughs> I'm so greedy. I get another card. I like how I'm just growing the annex inside me. <laughs> Just a thirteen twelve, and the enchantment is doing it. I still haven't seen for a couple turns. So, <laughs> carpet of flowers. Carpet of flowers. The field of poppies that you must walk through to get to the Emerald City. Oh, oh, it's not I a. Mean, I, mean, I, I got though. two islands. Two, yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. You need those cards. <laughs> uh, all you need is like a single instant and can kill Tober. <laughs> hmm. Tober, do you have any flyers? I do. He has the angel token. Uh, uh there's an angel. The four four though. We had double strike and lifelink. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good times. Ugh, the lifelink is frustrating. Alright. Uh, is this the turn that I died to a trample? We'll find out. <laughs> I don't I, I don't think she has anything to give a trample in her deck. That's my guess. I well, I mean, it is a flavor deck, so there could be anything in the in the sake <laughs> of flavor, you know. Yeah, that's that is true. You know, like skull clamps. <laughs> hey, Mister Jace's ingenuity. <laughs> um, in like comic eighteen, there was a character named Jace. You don't know that. <laughs> I could actually just kill the lumber knot. Oh, yeah, it doesn't have hexproof, does it? Or it doesn't have first strike. I'm down with killing that. I'm I'm fine with this. It's pretty big. So uh, that's. Let's just do it like that. Sure. Oh, did I screw it up again? We'll find out soon. Did you block your commander? Hopefully. That's pretty close <laughs> to lethal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, we're not gross. 
I'll feed Slumbernaut. Okay, lumber not down. But I get all these counters on it. Oh, I'm just gonna use this. Uh, doesn't matter what you get. Hmm. I guess I could have just went all in and killed it without losing anything. I'll give that another Tomer fail. Sure, let's get some free mana. And it's any color, too. I'm so jealous. Any color? <laughs> yeah. Works really you well. You have to choose. Yeah. I really assumed well. it was blue. Uh, all right. I guess we choose green. Sackland, draw a card. Uh, draw some more cards. And some more cards. Oh, goodness. Alright, let's do this. So, when I asked the stream chat yesterday, mechanics that were gluttonous, because that was another hard one. The first thing they came up with was Annihilator. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> So, close uh, line. Yeah, uh, I guess. But true of truth? Yeah, sure. That's a, it eats away your board very hungrily. <laughs> I, I actually agree. I think that is actually very flavorful. Yeah, Eldrazi do eat, consume. Everything. Uh, Tomer's back to the highest life total, so <laughs> you got you got to take the chroma hit. I'll pay for that web. I'm showing that I can. <laughs> Next time I'm going to block, though, with my loafing giant. Oh, this game again. The fun Gitrog monster sub-game. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you discarding lands again? You're discarding lands again. I can't, just not, greed. I can't just not discard lands. <laughs> uh, okay. Now Energy I got other things I can on discard. Back. Avaricious. Okay, I get the dragon. What's up with the clergy? And what's happening in the artwork? Uh, you might have answered your own question. Is this lust again? <laughs> but it's not oh my, my fault. God. Blame Reddit. Oh it's my goodness. Mission. It's not my fault. Oh my goodness. I discarded it. I could have played it, but I discarded it. <laughs> I was hoping it would slip through. Gluttonous zombie. Um... Gluttonous slime. One thing I've realized with all this discarding is gluttonous cards are really bad. I've spent most of my time discarding various gluttonous cards. Uh, Avarice Amulet. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Um, maybe... You gotta discard one more. Alright, for Tomer. We'll discard that one. <laughs> you said one more, but in truth. Oh no, you're not gonna be happy about that draw. Me and specifically? Then... No, just people in general. It's me specifically, isn't it's, it? <laughs> it's one of the good gluttonous cards. And then we'll discard another lust card. Which the look at the art on that card, Soul Collector. That's like Yeah, that's a fetish, I guess. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Pretty over the top. Multiple. Alright. Multiple going there. <laughs> uh... What do I do? What do I do? Well, you, you can I use guess. your lands to pay your echo before. Oh, you stacked it that way. Uh, oh, I can stack. Oh. I, I mean, it's only a I... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just he wanted to spend all his mana on something. Mm, no. <laughs> all right. I guess uh, we play this and hope we draw into something useful. Mm hmm. We did not. So uh, we will cast Casey Jones here. If you remember, Casey Jones is the hockey mask, bat slash <laughs> hockey stick wielding superhero. One of the sketchiest superheroes you've ever seen. <laughs> and he will try to fetch up the weapons for Ninja Turtles. Wow. 
Kind of. Oh, I know what to do. Oh, okay. Wait, no. You have first strike. Does Annex assign me to have first strike? No. They have first strike, yes. They do? Yep. I can't see under all these keywords. Oh, they do. <laughs> Everyone has a first striker. Why? I can't <laughs> even, like, GTA regenerate. <laughs> yep. To be fair, I don't own a first striker. <laughs> she could also give it back to me. Nah. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm jamming Web of Inertia into all my decks now. <laughs> it's it's not like Commander we would class attack staple. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's do white again. Let's draw a card. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're doing it. One, two, three. Did you find a wrath? No. <laughs> uh oh. Gosh, no. Actually, let me let me cast this first. Uh, hero of Oh us. boy. Another Spartan hero. Well, technically not Spartan because that's Acros, but whatever. <laughs> it's heroic. He's a hero from ancient Greece. We're good. Actually, let me let me first just. All right. So I want to cast with multi kicker. One, two, three. Oh no. Uh, so oh, King Leonidas was very inspiring. He made some pretty epic speeches at the Battle of Thermopylae. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he knows how to rally the troops. Oh, boy. With a big old Marshall's Anthem. Oh, oh making it harder to pay for Web of Inertia. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, how about that Wrath, Seth? <laughs> One, two... I, the problem is, Jen has indestructible stuff. I have one destructible thing, and Her Pilmer commander. is way scarier. <laughs> right? I don't well, think I can... so. A Wrath would actually be really wise on this board state. Even if my commander did not have indestructible, a, a Wrath would be very wise at this point. <laughs> Are you playing Rest in Peace, Seth? Are you gonna Rest in Peace Web of Inertia? <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be actually really impressive. Oh my god, look at these! <laughs> oh. That is a big board state. I, for one, do not want a wrath. So, <laughs> well, I'm giving all Seth all of my juju, so he gets a wrath. <laughs> so I, here you go, here you go. Here's some juju. I guess I'll pass the turn. <laughs> Seems like a good turn. Yeah, not, not bad. I really just want to blow up my Adalon. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. That Addicts of Side Beat is a 32-31. Yeah. <laughs> it goes if, with my uh, army. If you had a jump, that would just kill him. <laughs> and actually, like, almost any spell would make it so scary. Mm-hmm. Well, it needs to fly. He has enough like blockers. Uh, yeah, I guess to that's... actually like absorb all of that. That's true. I'm just working on the assumption that there's no heroic enabler there. And I'll just keep going with that assumption. Seems fine. Hmm. Well, that's not a good plan, but it'd be a really fun one. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound good for us. You know what? I want to see it now. Uh, I'm going to fall into Seth's trap and be greedy. Ooh. Okay. That is a deadly sin, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it very well <laughs> might lead to my death in this game. I'm excited now. I am going to drop a house on NX and Siamid. Oh. Ouch. Wow. Good lord. Whoa, draw 32 cards. 
Gain 31 life. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. That's so cool. now I have my entire deck. Do you, you have a Oz Wrath in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do have a Wrath. Does it kill Hall of Gemstones? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh Oh my, so many cool cards. I could show you like all of my strategies and all of my story. It's great. Um, but I think the Wrath is the right plan. I, so... I vote against Wraths. <laughs> For just officially? Necessary. Yeah, I'm just anti-Wraths in general. I just think they're not good. <laughs> For um, just stuff in particular. Oh! And another tornado comes and hits uh, the house. That just that's not a wrath. That's, that's a, a cyclonic rift. <laughs> I mean, it's it's mostly a wrath. Oh my god! Can I do anything? <laughs> no. Oh, <that's... laughs> okay. That is brutal. Goodbye, everything. Oh, but my stuff's still here. Surprise. <laughs> All right, so I have what two mana left? Oh, what am I going to play? Hmm. Sorry, I have thirty something cards in my hand. Yeah, lots of decisions. All right, well, let's drop. A land. Then we can drop a signet with which we can give the scarecrow a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you have everything, right? You have the brain, the courage, the heart. And the heart. I have all three of them. Unfortunately, you haven't seen any of those characters yet. <laughs> but they are all in my hand, I believe. Oh no, are you going to discard a... them? <laughs> the I don't game. know. We'll I do have all three of them in my hand. Alright, so... Let's go to cleanup step. Well, I guess I can attack. Hmm. You don't even have to exile a card from your graveyard. Ooh. Yeah, I'm still not worried about you. <laughs> Ouch. I have a I have a hall of gemstone that's really hard on you, so Yeah, that is that is pretty bad for me. Especially when I bounce all your rocks. <laughs> yep. Alright. We're just gonna start by pitching these things. Alright, so the one I'm pitching here is the yellow brick road. <laughs> Homeward path yeah. is a path to home. Unfortunately, it's like a $5 card, and its ability is trash with Rubinia. That's yeah, kind of a. But you know, <laughs> it was flavor. It was important. I put it in the deck. Let your heels point you home. All right. So we discarded the lands. I can see my entire hand right now. <laughs> um, I have a, a flying monkey. So it's not quite flying. <laughs> I actually do have a flying monkey, though. I'll let that be known. Some munchkins can go. Kodama's Reach. Again, reaching for pizza. As foretold, because it's a story. Um... So... I want that. Oh boy. Uh, we'll get rid of narcolepsy, falling asleep in the poppies. Get rid of explosive vegetation. How many cards do I have now? Ten? Oh my. Alright, we'll get rid of another crab, crabby apple tree. Um, oh boy. I don't know what to get rid of. Alright, there goes a tin man. Hey, Solomon. Oh no, the Tin Man. 
<laughs> and Finally the found his courage. The Tin Man was missing a heart. Excuse oh, me. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and the Scarecrow also left. So. Just brought them along for the journey. Finally found their parts and then discarded them. <laughs> What's the moral of this story? I don't know. <laughs> well, I drew against all odds in untapped land. So that means, oh man, this is so brutal, but it, it must be done. This is also something you can blame on Twitch chat. Oh. What are we what are we oh, targeting? Yes, it is. Uh, Hall of Gemstones and... Hmm. Are you... Wait, what are you... Quarantine? Well, why is it the Odyssey? Odyssey? No. quarantine thingy? It's a gluttonous card. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know we are playing standard. What's going on? <laughs> it, it, it has on a out. ceaseless <laughs> hunger. There's nothing more gluttonous. All right. I suppose that's fair. Ah, uh, Hall of Gemstones is gone. You should all be thanking me. Yeah, but there's a new Ulamog now. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have oh, haze. no. Why does it have oh, haze? Oh, because he has anger in the graveyard, but I didn't realize it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that's all right. I didn't want to do that anyway. Oh, no attacks. Yes, no attacks. Oh, throwing out the web of inertia? Yeah, I think the graveyards are a bit too full now. Slumbering dragon. Very slothful. <laughs> Alright, that's a threat. Maybe Rubini is not going to take my stuff this this time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's... That's scary. <laughs> Whoa, Omnath, Locus of Rage. That's pretty good too. This is like all the scary creatures like ever made. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Most of the rage and anger and those creatures are just big and scary. But now you have your mana, so you can oh, probably play have, things. We don't have the horn anymore. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, you so have now colors I actually, of mana. I have colors of mana. I'll take that. Uh, we'll play a new turtle. Meandering Yay, Wander Shell. Yes! <laughs> My chat was hoping that you would have Dirtle Turtle, and you do. Uh, if you remember this guy, Baxter, the fly guy <laughs> from, oh, <laughs> from Turtles. And we must all add the other villains. Let's see. White... Black. Uh, we have oh. Rocksteady. Wow. <laughs> uh, Bebop is on his way. Bebop is on his way, but not here yet. <laughs> and we will pass. Uh, this can go. Changeling can go. Uh, I guess. My Ricky, sorry, sorry, Michelangelo, lost the nunchuck here. Hey, I... I think I need to have some chump blockers. All right, Leon, Leonidas is chosen back again. Oh, I don't really. Eh, yeah, this is fine. Who did you drain with your sea dry now? Empty Thrones back. Everyone. Yeah, Each it's oh, everyone. Life. <laughs> oh. I, I only gained three, though. Okay. Somehow no one's below 35. <laughs> Maybe because we made no progress <laughs> whatsoever. Yeah, this game is going to go until someone is milled out. Yeah, I currently have 38 cards in my There's library. a little log here to expedite that process. Yeah. Uh, boom. 
Oh, it's a life gain. If I only had a heart. And I think I will. Yeah, I need to discard so much anyway. Let's make an angel. Let's switch it over. Ha ha. So how do we get rid of Ulamog? <laughs> well, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? The... <laughs> Who just cast the merge? <laughs> I'm the, non, I'm the non Ulamog. I appreciate that. Well, just wait. I, I guess have a I plan for Ulamog. She's going to take oh, Ulamog. No. Oh, no. I guess she's taking <laughs> Ulamog. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I shall untap Rubinia this time. Who has the most islands? Me. All right. <laughs> Two. You two then. <laughs> A whopping two. Hey, two free mana every turn? I'm okay. That is fine with me. It's already paid for itself. Oh, oh, oh. beautiful. A one mana 10 10. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Uh, let's see, how much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 1314. Hmm. Alright, so here's the um, Good Witch of the South, Glinda. She uh, keeps everyone going. She brings everyone home to the battlefield. That's scary. What do you have in here? Uh oh, Lumber Knot. I have lots of scary things. You can finally bring back the, uh, the Scarecrow and the Tin Man. <laughs> Uh oh. Ooh. That's not good. And we have a hasty tin tin. Yes, you do. Alright, now I want to tap. Where the hell moved on me? So here is the cowardly lion. He's scared <laughs> now, but he will grow as he gets his courage. And hello, Ulamog. You want to come play with us? Thanks. You can skip down the like, yellow brick road along with us. <laughs> So I can attack for... Oh, I guess not that much damage this turn. So how about those wraths, Seth? <laughs> <laughs> you even sad value those? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Ulamog is indestructible. You get Ulamog back. That's true. It's kind of a, a combo. Yeah. yeah, it might be wrath time. Well, let's compulsive research. Still got to draw cards. <laughs> wow. Maybe I'm looking for a wrath. Interesting. Oh, oh, Wait, what's in his compulsive research? Uh, card draw is exempt from, fl <laughs> from flavor. Fair. You hear that, YouTube? Don't complain about the skull clamp. <laughs> for me, not for you. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. I got you. Uh, we'll discard that, and... Uh, I guess that. And then, yes, we will... We will wrath. Oh! Kitar's wrath? What? We even get spirits. Aww. What is Kitar's wrath? It, oh it's God. so it's just a bigger wrath and social will go to spirits. Okay. I guess I'll split up the damage. You killed the cowardly lion. How could you do that? <laughs> he didn't get his courage quick enough. <sighs> I kind of feel bad attacking with Ulamog, but this game has went on a long time. It has. It's been a very long game. And Tomer, it's going at you, Tomer, because you have most cards in your library. It's kind of like most life, but Ulamog <laughs> version. Just whatever sure. justification gets over. <laughs> That's fine. I'm paying for your web, though. <laughs> that was discarded a few oh, turns ago. Oh, 
Oh, uh, I, I need to point out this the flavor of one of these cards that you exiled. Um, Myron the Moaning Well. So if anybody watched the movie, there was a messenger that came to Leonidas. And the only reason why I ran this is because of the scene. He uh, says, Madness, this is Sparta. And he kicks him down the well. Since Myron the Moaning Well. <laughs> it doesn't actually do anything in the, in the deck. So I have a Sheldock Isle, which oh. normally... It's just for flavor purposes because <laughs> you know it's a turtle shell and you're shell shocked. But people you are might actually, actually <laughs> work. Yeah, <laughs> actually getting pretty low here. Uh, wait, what does this do? So I may play without paying its mana cost. So basically, it costs okay. one in a blue. All right, we'll put that in, and we will play unexciting stuff that you've seen, but keeps getting bounced to my hand for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> We'll play our turtle. That one was Donatello? This one's Donatello. All right. Welcome back, sir. And we will play... Uh, what is this? Four, five, six. And guys. Mm -hmm. And we will play GTA. Um, okay. I guess it's time for another rousing speech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Let's pay a bunch of mana. Oh, I'm short. <laughs> um, let's not... Let's not have as a rousing speech. Like, tone it down just a little bit. <laughs> and... And just be like a semi-inspiring it's, speech. Yeah, it's, it's an okay speech. Yeah, it's not the best, but, you know, I tried. All right, there we go. Probably got a few people riled up. And then another one of that, and then another one of this. Marshall's Anthem. Oh. Hello again. Oh, his entire board is back. <laughs> well, I'm still... Two shots away from being dead from Ulamog. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, let's see like that. Hello. Oh, Stuff. I have blockers. <laughs> <laughs> I have blockers. Can you like draw five cards so when Seth attacks you, I can shell dock Isle? <laughs> <laughs> Please, Tomer, just draw five cards. Let me just make another angel. There we go. There we oh, go. Goodness. I'll pass. Can no one deal with the Ulamog? Is that how this is? Uh, there goes my spirits. There goes my angels. <laughs> wow, <laughs> those one one <laughs> spirits, Seth. <laughs> Wait, did it kill the angel? Yeah. Uh, oh, it, had oh, it was enchanted, yeah. It was enchanted. yeah. How much better did that cost? Can, can a lot. Cast... <laughs> I could cast it, but it oh. costs a lot. Oh, you take the Ulamog. Wait, no. You just let Seth kill Tomer with it. <laughs> I don't like that plan. Why is it tapped? It was tapped when Seth had it. Oh, well, sad face. Huzzah. Why did my tornado elemental not kill all your angels? It was enchanted. One of them was enchanted. Mm-hmm. Because of the. But it was mystic. enchanted to be a six-six, right? It made it. In, uh, it had totem armor. Oh, got it, got it. That makes sense. Hmm. Wait, so he still has a double strike lifelink card in hand, right? Yes. Mm, yeah. Uh, do I? <laughs> I oh, know, gosh. Do you? Know. I think so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> do any of you have a creature that wraths 
on entering the battlefield. <laughs> I just played one, okay? You're welcome. That, that was the flying wrath. I need the, <laughs> the land creature wrath. <laughs> the one that kills Ulamog? No. Uh, I don't care about Ulamog. <laughs> I'm more scared of that army over there. Yeah, this army is really intimidating. Yeah, the Ulamog plus the tornado elemental is <laughs> out of control. <laughs> Uh, no, we we are aware of the double strike lifelink. That's a ton of damage. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do here. Hmm. There's got to be something good I can do. Well, I guess we can do this. One, two, Draw some three. Dance. No. This will make Richard happy. One, two, three, four. What could this possibly be? Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Stop. <laughs> it's Arathagon. But the really? Ulamog is still there. <laughs> that Ulamog has changed hands, like, what, six, five uh... times now? Four times now? Yeah, it's been going back and forth a lot. And then we'll just... Play a spooky morph. Ooh. <laughs> and we'll pass the turn. What? What morph is this? Mm, it's on flavor. I can tell One, you that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right ten, now. eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. How much mana would you pay to draw a single card? <laughs> all of it. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> Gotta be right. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> How much mana did I just I cast? <laughs> you had nine mana. So, you guys saw Rocksteady. Uh, here's Bebop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, do I want to even keep Bebop? Uh, I guess I'll just hit Jen. But I've been really knocked down a peg, by the way. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> I'll <just> do it. <laughs> it okay. for the deep hours. Wow. How much mana was that? <laughs> so that's 10 plus additional 2, so 12 mana to draw a card. Don't worry. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> worth, worth. Ru ru ruin the overrun effect, but you got the saw. <laughs> Get that card. Uh, I guess we'll just play scavenging ooze. Secret of the ooze. <laughs> huh. well, let's see if Tomer wants to reanimate it one more time. <laughs> reanimate what? I don't know, man. You've reacted to the graveyard <laughs> one, multiple times. Uh, we are probably going to just get rid of the Ulamog. I think that I think it's, it's had enough fun. You have a sword this entire time? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. More flavorful, though. Hmm. Chain to the rocks. Oh, yeah. Uh, Seth's already back at, like, Kozilek Banna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, he has Kozilek in hand, doesn't he? I do. Oh, oh man. One thread at a time, one thread one at a time. time. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta deal with this Ulamog first. Can you deal with the Ulamog? I can. Oh, then do it. I might. <laughs> <laughs> Chrome Conscriptors. Welcome back. Oh, you gonna steal it and sack? <laughs> it's creature. been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> These fartons are quite hardy. Yeah. <laughs> they keep coming back. This thing's been around since forever. <laughs> All right. Well, it's because the Spartans have been immortalized in in the mythos. Gift of immortality. Ooh. Okay. So I'm gonna take that little mog. Yeah. For a second. Fair. Oh, do you have a fling? 
Um, so I got that one. And yeah, I do want to swing with it one time, just to say that I did. Can you hit Jen so I can use Shell Dock Isle? <laughs> <laughs> That's tempting. What what's on what's in it for me? I don't know, nothing. <laughs> you're gonna see, uh, Getting to see a Shell Dock Isle used in Commander Flash? You're gonna get to see the most epic combo that does nothing. <laughs> well you're the highest Actually no, Seth is running this card. I'm sending it back to Seth. <laughs> I'll just say I'm, I'm definitely jumping. Alright. I wanna see what that warp is. Mm, boy, stuff oh. gets exiled. Well, that works because Seth, Seth will be at twenty cards next turn anyway. Works for me. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna find a way to discard this Kozlik and <laughs> shuffle everything back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. right. It was only in the chroma. Only in a chroma. Oh no. Oh, uh, if you mess this up, Jomer, it is so coming back at you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It is, it's coming <laughs> for you. Oh, no. This is not good. <laughs> what? I don't know what's happening. Uh, Seth, we're friends. I <laughs> don't <laughs> oh, You just stole my Ulamog and made me jump with my Chroma. <laughs> yeah, of course we're friends. Hey, you said we're friends. I'm keeping your you're keeping your word. <laughs> Just remember how I define friendship. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is not good for me. <laughs> this is not good for me at all. What have I done? <laughs> what did you do wrong? Oh, I don't that's, know. that's a follow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh, goodness. Okay. Well I'll take that Ulamog back. I just I was benevolent and I want you to remember the bene the benevolency. <laughs> oh, I hate modern wording. Alright, so here you see the wicked witch of the east as she uh summons all of her flying monkeys to her side. Oh. Ooh, that's pretty nice. And a great hero of the Munchkins. <laughs> <laughs> Defenses are up. Um, actually, let's see. Let's do this. Sorry. All right. Now we can attack. You have a flyer, you're not that scary. Seth. Oh, you do realize I have an Ulamog, right? <laughs> I do. Okay, just checking. If I don't attack you this turn, will you not attack me with Ulamog next turn? Uh, sure. He's going to okay. attack Tomer anyway. <laughs> Probably, but, you know, it's nice to be safe. So, I, you know, I'll just send it back at you, and then you're milled out. You don't want to do that to me. Oh, well, I have a Kozilek in hand, too. But that draws you cards, right? Yeah, and annihilates you, yeah. literally. But we'll see. We'll see what I draw. Maybe I'll play Corona. Ooh, that could be fun. <laughs> That's got to be a horrible idea. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are attacking Tomer. I'm just saying. You stole my Ulamog. I might steal it again. <laughs> That's what you think. Don't no one uh, remind him that I stole his Ulamog first. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's that's true, but you didn't swing uh, it at me. Alright, you, you exile Desperate Stand, which is the pinnacle of the three hundred deck. <laughs> they're holding a bridge against they're holding the gates, the hot gates. Versus the uh, ever encroaching <laughs> army, unstoppable army. So I hope you're happy with that flavor. <laughs> um, I will block <laughs> desperately. Down to, you know, you only have 24 cards left in your library. 
Uh, and then I guess we do this. Tap, tap. Tap. And tap all uh, creatures. After this, there's an additional combat. No. Eternal Witness. Uh-huh. What are you targeting? Uh, a Wrath. Hmm. Where's... You? I can't tell what you're targeting. Uh, it's, it's Kitar's, Kitar's oh. Wrath. The best oh, you're not getting that. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Scavenging is... Scoo's food. All right, all right, all right. My only relevance to this game. <laughs> <laughs> Another wrath coming. Kozilek. Oh. 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 Now people are gonna kill me. Yes. <laughs> I, I know what happens <laughs> after you play more in Clax. Nothing good. Oh wait, I should attack. I my learned the hard way. What happens <laughs> after you play more in Clax? How do we kill Seth? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure Tomer is going to take care of that. I'm uh, I, gonna I have want to play a whole bunch of stuff, but I don't want to time walk. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, can't attack through any of these giant monsters everywhere. <laughs> Alright, Tomer, these look like Persians over here, so I think you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta finish off that. So Olavog can... is not Persian. So they're not, they're not or like this sick or enough, and then have like mutants craziness going on like in the movie <laughs> <laughs> they need a mustache and need to twirl it um all right. Sherlock Isle is live by the way Richard. it is live I- I'm curious what's it underneath it well I think I misread my card so <laughs> maybe it's not gonna be an epic flavor wind but we'll see <laughs> okay all right I kind of don't wanna I tap that out Huh. Yeah, I think we have to do it, but can I do more? Is the question. To do. Not really. <laughs> Could you just like a really boring turn? Set up for next turn? A really boring turn that kills Seth, right? Don't kill me. You played um... one <laughs> we're, we're friends, right, Tomer? If you say the magic word, then now I have to kill you. Oh my god, <laughs> you said it first! Uh, yeah, let's just... One, two... Let's save this for next turn. I'll just do this. Yes, Vorn Clex. <laughs> yup. Yup. Oh, taking one for the team, huh? Pretty much. Thank you. But are you going to actually kill him? Or are you just going <laughs> to tap out and do nothing? Unless I do it wrong. I mean, that's always the possibility, right? <laughs> True. So. Gonna... I vote for that one. Gonna... <laughs> you know, Ninja the D-Powers draws you a card. So I have to throw <laughs> conscripts on the battlefield. And I'm going to you... take the Ulamog. Wow, Tomer <laughs> chooses not to draw a card. I wouldn't have even blocked. You could have <laughs> taken the ninja, and I would have <laughs> let you attack me, and I wouldn't have blocked. <laughs> but okay, I guess Ulamog's fine, too. He's he's all right. Consolation part prize. So I'm going to send him back to its owner. <sighs> and it exiles 20 cards. Which happens to be exactly the number in my library. Yep. I'm going to die with a cold slick that I can't discard in my hand. I think it's it's flavorful, too, because, you know, the sins caught up to you, maybe? That's that's true. Yeah. Um, yep, this is, this is fitting. It's kind of like the ending of the movie that I'm not going to reveal. Uh-oh, spoilers. <laughs> All right, and I think... I'm supposed to pass this turn because I don't want to get locked down because the Warren Clack stack would suck. All right. Free ramp is best ramp. Free ramp is best ramp. Oh, and look. A bird, a.k.a. a flying monkey. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of, I have not seen my flying monkey yet. I've seen all but 32 of my cards, so... 
Oh, you flying. All right, Richard. You don't have flying blocker. No. Stop hitting me. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm going to shell dock aisle. And we'll do this right now. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? So I thought Mimeo. <laughs> so it's a Mimeoplasm. Uh -oh. And. Oh. I thought it copied two creatures at once, so I was trying to construct a, a mutant ninja turtle again. <laughs> but no, upon closer creatures. inspection, it doesn't do that. Yeah. It not copies quite. one and takes the power and toughness of another. And adds it to that one. Yeah. yeah. So. Great, I don't know. I'm going to have to choose. I guess. Seth probably has the scariest creatures, right? I'm dead. <laughs> But yes. Yeah, don't take his stuff because then it'll well, go it's a, away. It's a copy, right? So it should be fine, right? Yeah, or... I think you should be okay. Oh, well, yeah, yeah so... probably. Wait, oh. does it exile? Exile two uh... target creature cards from yeah. graveyards. If you do, it yeah. enters the battlefield as a copy of one with an additional yeah. number of counters yeah. equal to the second. I think it works. So, We're gonna yeah, find so it. you should be safe. You should still keep it. Oh, All right, my so... goodness. So we get an Acroma. Protection from white and blue. All right, fine. No, Seems... no, not good. Not good. <laughs> Just casually 16, 16? Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. There were friends, Richard. <laughs> uh, we could be. Uh, let me use Seth's graveyard as a... Oh, wait, no, shoot, I don't want to do this. Never mind. Let me wait till Seth dies. I was going to eat all Seth's creatures before he died, but... <laughs> uh, yep, I guess I can't can't avoid this, so good game, good game. Good game, good game Seth. Is that our first mill out on Commander Clash? Wait, why is it still going through his phases? It's, it, a little it's weird. definitely in this <laughs> season, probably in like the last two seasons. We rarely get mill outs. Who has scary creatures? Not Mike. Also known as who has the ability to get back the scary creatures. Yeah, your creatures aren't scary, but you keep getting them back. Well, which is kind of annoying. You keep you keep bouncing my marshals and hit them. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. All the stuff that I like. All the stuff that I like. Stop. <laughs> no. Keeps going. I think Marshall's Anthem's my only way to get the creatures back at the very least, so I can't be too bummed out, but I'm a little bit bummed out, because there's a possibility that I'm wrong. Alright, you're out of creatures, on to Jen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm killing the flavor, I killed a lion. <laughs> Felden didn't like that. <laughs> How much life are you out to over? <laughs> Uh, don't worry about it. But you have the double strike, dude. It's kind of scary. He's a 25 life. That's a double strike, With dude? the double, oh, the double strike, strike life part. link thing yeah. in hand. It's life link, too. Yeah. His life uh, total matters. Uh, let's see. Cast. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's back. Uh. Oh. That's not good. Uh, we will equip the GTA. Yes, on to this. I'm so scared right now. Yeah, you're at 60 life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared of my life total, or uh, about my life total. I'm scared because there's a decimator and an angel and and a giant scavenger. Can I survive? So I can block 8, 11, 16 damage, and I'm taking 15. Oh, I can survive, but just barely. Interesting. I guess I can make it... Is it going to make a key rune activate? What do I kill, though? I guess I kill the scavenging ooze. 
Oh, it can grow even further, though. Maybe. Wait, how much? You have 13, 16. You can block 17? Yeah. So you take 4, 22. Oh, wait, this thing, they all have trample, right? To 28. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm killing your thing then. So that's uh, 13. Eh? Do I survive? No. <laughs> well, good game. Good game, Tomer. So what did you block? Stuff. You, everything blocks in the scavenging ooze. Tough. Uh, okay. No. I was hoping you wouldn't remember that. Uh, is this a creature? This is a creature. Yeah, plenty of creatures. Good game. Good game. Look, I still get two mana every turn. <laughs> From my carpet of flowers. I'm going to play Oz's Balloon. Smuggler's Copter. That brings you back to Kansas. Or probably will. Oh boy. None of these... Oh, the Decimator naturally has Trample. Jeez, this is not looking good for me over here. Oh, it's your turn. Uh, kill this. Oops, I messed up. In uh, response, I'd like to activate crew crew my smuggler's copter. Tap this. Okay, there we go. I have a smuggler's copter, the balloon that will take you back <laughs> to your home. Uh, I have a throwing knife. <laughs> so I'm a ninja, ninja artifacts. Okay. So what does this do if I sacrifice it? Just deals two damage. Okay, not very useful. All right, so we are going to valiantly block. So we'll go ahead and use its ability, and we will discard Temple of the False God. So we all know mana is not something I'm lacking right now. And then we're also going to use this. Uh-oh. Click. Oh, it's got protection from white. No. Oh, do you have swords? <laughs> oh. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Four, five, one, two, three, four. Uh, Doesn't matter though, because he's got trample. It's curtain of light. Uh. So I can actually. Pump a chroma. Yeah, see, I was gonna put a curtain of light on a chroma. Yeah. That would have made a lot more sense than, you know, the trample dude. But I couldn't uncast it at that point. Uh, 
All right, I will tutor increasing ambition. My favorite card. It looks like the Shredder. Not really. <laughs> but uh, I will get Master Biomancer. So that all my creatures enter as mutants. Oh. And I will pass the turn. I will play a Dream Cache to get some extra cards. Then I put two on top or bottom of my library. All right, more massive amounts of mana. Oh. And yet another Krabby Apple Tree. I don't think that saves me, though. Uh, keep eating stuff. <laughs> That's a very hungry ooze. Uh, solemn. Don't eat the uh, tin man, he's hollow. Cast worldly tutor. Uh, you know what, this one? This one? Okay, this is the one I want. All right, here we go. We cast Wandering Tomb Shell. Oh, dead Dirtle Turtle. It's, it's, wait, what? It's dead Dirtle Turtle. No, I didn't put plus one plus one counters on Master Biomancer. Oh, wait, it is a mutant still. Never mind. Okay, we're still good. Yeah, it's we're still, still a mutant. You're good. We're still good. Uh, I will pay eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Increasing ambition. I will get uh, this and this. I will cast this. Let's see, make a selection. I ch wait, change by replacing all this as one creature type with another. I replace a zombie. With Ninja. Look at that. I got a Turtle Ninja Mutant. That's <laughs> Well done. <laughs> that was it. I will attack. Good game. Good turtle game. Ninja <laughs> Mutant wins the game. Wow. I How could have blocked him with one more that? turn, but eh, it wasn't going to be a good life. I couldn't find Teenage. There's no, like, Teenage card. I couldn't even find a turtle with the mana, co uh, the mana cost in the teens. <laughs> so <laughs> it was kind of hard to fit the last keyword in there. I think all, can all things considered, that was a huge flavor win. Yes. Teen <laughs> Minus the Teenage, which doesn't really exist in Magic anyway. You got <laughs> nin uh, Mutant Ninja Turtle. So well done. Good game, all. Uh, that was yeah. a long one. That was super long. And, and in Richard fashion, he managed just to take possibly the worst <laughs> deck at the table. And then wait, 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 wait. By... <laughs> Are you telling me Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is the worst <laughs> deck you've ever seen? <laughs> Maybe not the worst. It was one of the best Richard decks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Richard, let's start it off. Were there any cool synergies that you didn't get to showcase in the deck? I think you pretty much saw everything. So I had all of the weapons. So I had the Staff for Donatello, Staff of Nin. Mm. Uh, you saw the Psy, uh, Sword of Vengeance for Leonardo. Uh, you saw the Nunchuck. So I had all those covered. I had a bunch of Turtles, a bunch of Ninjas, a bunch of Ooze cards to transform my Turtles. And yeah, and then you saw... Master Biomancer, which made everyone a mutant, which is actually pretty hard to do. <laughs> and then I had just a, a couple uh, cards like Xenograft and uh, whatever card I just played, Artificial Evolution, to change types. So I was really just trying to get a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on the battlefield. I wasn't planning on winning, but uh, Minimal Plasm with Seth's big creatures <laughs> uh, did it. Uh, I really thought that card exiled two creatures and you became copies of them. 
So I was trying to get two creature types off the Mimeoplasm. Oh, that would be so, so overpowered. <laughs> so our Shelldock Isle was a surprising win. <laughs> it was just there for the shell flavor, but you guys milled each other down low enough that it actually turned online and did something useful. So that was interesting. Yeah, that was awesome. And surprisingly, in the end, quite effective. Mm -hmm. As you basically, you took out two people at the same time. Yeah, very convincingly yeah. at the end there. Google, Google tree is <laughs> <laughs> pretty good for putting plus pretty one plus good. one counters. Yeah. We're at sixteen sixteen. All right, so Seth, we also got to see a lot of your deck as well. Were there any cool interactions or anything for uh, Seven Deadly Sins that we didn't get to see? I think you got to see most of it. There wasn't really any synergies or combos. It was pretty much all cards that one way or another fell under the heading of one of the seven sins so it was kind of more about the flavor i guess than the synergy so it ended up being pretty scattered although there's a lot of cards that are just powerful in a vacuum which is probably my best chance to win the game is to just live for a while and then hope that a chroma or vorinclex or an eldrazi or something could steal the win but i think you actually uh, since the game went so long and we had to play so many cards i think you actually got to see most of what the deck was doing yeah definitely it seemed like it, it it dirtles hard but i mean on theme you have eldrazi's that deal with gluttony and you have a chroma that deals with wrath and if you do go long enough and the game did go quite long then those those cards become very serious threats so it was neat yeah. and it was very flavorful too Speaking of flavorful, we got to see all the tr all the main cast of the Wizard of Oz. We got to see the witches and everything. Uh, were there any cool cards that you didn't get to showcase, Jennifer, for your deck? The only one that I would have really liked to show off is Primok Escapee, which is a blue mm -hmm. monkey with wings. So there was a <laughs> flying monkey in the deck. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you just you got to see pretty much everything. I had several tornadoes. I had all the main characters. I had two for pretty much all of them. So like, I had Karn and Sad Robot for Tin Man, etc. Uh, you had the you know the field, the carpet of flowers, all the poppies. Like you got to see so much stuff from the decks just because we played for so long. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm really proud of how it did. I'm really I was not expecting it to necessarily do well. I was more just trying to cover the story as best I could, and I feel like I did an okay job with that. Yes, yeah, sure. I got to show I, off I really some like really cool cards I had no idea existed. So every card was on point. No spooky greaves. No <laughs> Jace's ingenuity. No random card draw. It was all on point. So that was amazing. Yeah, well done. Thank you. All right, for my deck, again, game was very long, so you got to see basically everything the deck wants to do. It wants to go wide, it wants to take advantage of heroic stuff, and it had um, a aura sub-theme, so I could deal with, like, get some enchantress card draw, some aura-based card, card draw, and get extra tokens that way. Um, the only cards that I didn't get to showcase, I kind of got to showcase um, Desperate Stand, which is basically... Uh, reenactment the magic version of uh, the battle of Thermopylae. If you look at the artwork, they're on a they're on a choke point that only one chariot could go through, and they're holding off like a overwhelming horde through that choke point, and it was really cool. Um, I was running all the Crowins, all basically the Spartans. So I have like the Crown Phalanx, and I have a bunch of other Phalanx related cards. Um, there was one card that I was going to win the game with for quite a while, but it's never panned out. Um, Breath of Fury. Basically, it's an aura that you enchant on a creature, and when the creature deals combat damage, you can sacrifice it and attach Breath of Fury to a different creature, and if you do, you take an extra combat step. Um, it's really good if you have just a huge board of tokens, but at no point did I have a chance to have a lethal amount of tokens on the battlefield and then cast Breath of Fury to kill people with, because the board got just wiped over and over again so that was the one thing that I was holding on to um from beginning till the end basically but otherwise you got to see the deck um i think it performed well um and it was pretty resilient so Tomer, we played a three-hour game and you <laughs> never found a chance to scream this is sparta at any point <laughs> well, oh, yes. you did not. i had a well i i have myron the moaning well in my deck 
and it is a well, and it sacrifices a creature for the ultimate flavor win. It got exiled, though. It got exiled from, um, I think, Sire of Insanity. So I was going to play it, and my my goal was to get a Crowin, um was it the Crowin Conscriptor that steals creatures. If I have that, I steal one of your creatures, I get Myron of the Moaning Well, I sacrifice it, and then I can scream, this is Sparta, while I sacrifice your creature <laughs> and throw it down the well. But it didn't pan out. I got one of the pieces. The other piece got exiled, sadly. <laughs> but... That was a great game. It was quite long, so I know people really do enjoy longer games, so hopefully that appeases that group of people. And Richard, are you going to be joining us for the next week as well, right? Yes, I will. So hopefully we're going to figure out a sweet, a sweet theme for that week. Uh, pleasure to have you back for now. And um, until then, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.